This is the stuff that the award Knockout of the Year is made of. And that's the topic of today's video on Boxing Mania. Knockout of the Year is an annual recognition awarded by The Ring Magazine, a renowned boxing publication. Although the magazine has been providing fighter ratings since 1924, it only began selecting the Knockout of the Year in 1989. And while the exact criteria for determining the winner are not known, a close examination of their choices over the years allows us to make an educated guess regarding the factors considered for this prestigious accolade. There are specific elements that we think play a role in the selection process, and here are some of them. First, the significance of a knockout based on the stature and level of the fighters involved, the importance of the bout, the relevance of the division, and the titles at stake. These are obvious factors that should contribute to the overall impact and importance of the knockout in question. We also think that the criteria include the technical skill displayed by the fighter delivering the knockout blow. So from this perspective, factors such as precision, timing, and execution contribute to the consideration of a knockout as the best of the year. Entertainment value may very well be a major aspect that they also consider. Like in any other sport, boxing relies on creating excitement and captivating the audience. The level of excitement and entertainment generated by a knockout, especially among a large number of spectators, is a huge deciding factor for the knockout of the year. And then there's consensus. The consensus among boxing experts, journalists, and fans also influences the final decision. If most of these people consider one knockout to be superior to others, considering all the other aforementioned factors, it carries substantial weight in choosing this knockout as the knockout of the year. With that, here are the knockout of the year choices from 2010 to 2022, as determined by Ring Magazine. In 2010, Sergio Martinez faced Paul Williams for the second time. Martinez ended their rivalry in the second round with a devastating knockout. The abrupt and violent nature of the knockout made it an unforgettable moment for fans and secured Martinez the Knockout of the Year award. Good luck, ten, and down goes Williams! Right hand, Williams to the left! The following year, in 2011, Nonito Donaire delivered a second round knockout against Fernando Montiel. This knockout possessed all the elements necessary for the award that we have just discussed, including impact, significance, and entertainment value. Good oh, hey, uh, out of there. It's over with. It's over with. That is done. That is... And Russell Moore is going to let it continue. Now he stopped. In 2012, one of the most memorable knockouts in boxing history occurred. Juan Manuel Marquez famously knocked out the legendary Manny Pacquiao. This knockout had a profound impact on the boxing world and sparked endless debates about whether it was a lucky punch or a calculated maneuver. Regardless, it undeniably claimed the Knockout of the Year title in 2012. 2013 saw Adonis Stevenson's first round knockout of Chad Dawson receive the prestigious award. Stevenson's explosive performance was highly anticipated and lived up to the expectations of fans and experts alike. The following year, Carl Frock faced George Groves for the second time, and in the eighth round, Frock delivered a knockout that secured him the knockout of the year for 2014. In 2015, Saul Canelo Alvarez unleashed his signature punches on James Kirkland, leading to a third-round knockout. Alvarez's display of skill and power garnered him the Knockout of the Year recognition. Second knockdown. Right uppercut continues to land. There's a perfect straight right hand, and Sorley's going to stop the fight. What a performance by Canelo Alvarez. Maybe all Alvarez continued his knockout streak into the following year, 2016, when he brutally knocked out Amir Khan, leaving everyone concerned for Khan's well-being.
In 2017, David Lemieux claimed the Knockout of the Year award with a third-round knockout of Curtis Stevens. Oh, and oh Stevens. out cold. And out cold. Out, out cold. victory. Lemieux got what he was looking for. Naoya, the monster Inoue, made a lasting impression on boxing fans worldwide in 2018 when he delivered a nasty first-round knockout against Juan Carlos Payano. This display of speed and power hinted at Inoue's potential for future spectacular knockouts. Majority decision against <laughs> Rush. Oh, the left right combination. The referee is tolling the count, and it is all over. Naoya Inoue with a devastating statement. Deontay Wilder, known for his immense punching power, earned the knockout of the year distinction in 2019. He finished Luis Ortiz in the seventh round of their highly anticipated rematch, demonstrating his reputation as one of the hardest-hitting heavyweights. The year 2021 brought a surprise winner for the award, Gabriel Rosado, considered more of a journeyman rather than a contender, let alone an elite boxer, shocked the world by knocking out the heavily favored Bektamir Melikuziev in the third round. Despite subsequent losses and his recent retirement, Rosado's highlight reel performance against a formidable opponent secured him the knockout win to remember. Use that word earlier. Ooh, big shot! Finally, in 2022, Lee Wood gained a TKO victory over Michael Conlon after an intense fight where both fighters refused to back down. The highly competitive nature of the match, coupled with Wood's eventual triumph, made it a memorable event for boxing fans and earned Wood the Knockout of the Year honor. The Knockout of the Year Award not only recognizes exceptional skill and power, but also serves as a celebration of the sport itself. Each year, these remarkable knockouts create lasting impressions on boxing enthusiasts, contributing to the rich history of the sport. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.